And so in this problem, we're going to find the difference quotient for this given function. So again, if we go through our like three steps, we're going to find f of a plus h first. All right, so we're taking out all of the x's in this function and replacing with a plus h's. Simplify it. Get rid of the parentheses, combine like terms. So again, a plus h squared, you've got to write it down twice, FOIL. Now the negative 7, I'm going to go ahead and distribute. All right, and then, again, how you, however you want to multiply this out, um, you can distribute the 3 or you can FOIL the a plus h's and then distribute a 3. It, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 3 first, then go ahead and FOIL. So I have a minus 7a minus 7h plus 5, and then FOIL. So 3a squared plus 3ah plus another 3ah and then plus 3h squared. The middle terms here will add up. I don't know what happened there. Let me put that as a 2. 3h squared minus 7a minus 7h plus 5. All right, so that's step one. Step two. Find f of a, way easier step, 3a squared minus 7a plus 5. All you're doing is putting a's in for those x's. Step 3, kind of putting a couple of steps together here now. You're going to take the f of a plus h, that answer here, minus the answer you got for f of a, and then divide it by h. Part of our formula there. So if I take the top, and I know it's a lot of writing, but I think it's best to write it all out rather than try to develop some sort of shortcut. Alright, so then from here, the negative is going to get distributed. And you should again see that that whole parenthesis eventually cancels out. So that's kind of our check. Oops, I forgot to divide by h here. All right, so I have the 3a squared plus 6ah plus 3h squared minus 7a minus 7h plus 5. Distribute the negative, so that's going to change all the signs inside the parentheses to their opposites. All divided by h. And then again, I always start from the right and then just cancel out all three of those terms. So the negative 5 and the positive 5. A positive 7a and a negative 7a. Negative 3a squared, positive 3a squared. So what you're left with are terms that have h's in them. 6ah plus 3h squared minus 7h divided by h. Because they all have h's in common, you can factor out the h. So you have 6a plus 3h, because there were two to give up here, so you only pulled out one, minus 7 divided by h, and then cancel. So it's 6a plus 3h minus 7 would be your final.